morning folks, how are you doing? Well, welcome to the financial sector headquarters of the Isle of Man and this is Apple Street. Normally Monday to Friday this place is bustling but it's only Saturday morning and uh, this is where your solicitors are, your banks, your hedge fund companies, your offshore companies. Some people say where all your tax avoidance and money laundering takes place. I couldn't possibly comment on that. Uh, on the island we have a famous Tory baron, Baroness who lives here, who's involved in a 61 million PPE scandal with her husband. I couldn't possibly comment on that either. But these are the people we want to drive off the island. We don't need them. Give us a bad reputation. Anyway, talking of uh, money, other words for money are dough and bread. And that takes us on to a fantastic bakery in town called Noah Bakery. And they've been going about 10 years. But even better than the breads and the cakes they produce is now they have a brewery. Yes, it's a brewery. It opened last year. And it's run by ex posty colleague of mine, Ian. And uh, yeah, he's down there now, brewing away. And we're going to go down and see Ian. Right, let's crack on. Cheers. Here we are in Noah Bakery and it's just on the corner opposite the uh, steam packet building where the uh, ferry's coming. And you can just see the sea over there. So it's a really good spot. And this is Ian, the brewer of uh, the brew house, the old brew house. And uh, the bakery itself was in a book other building down the road, it started about 10 years ago. And uh, it's been having its own coffee as well. And Ian is a home brewer. And about uh, a couple of years ago, he gave a sample to the owner, Miles, and he was that impressed, he decided to open his own brew house. And he used to be a postman like myself, didn't he? How long was that for? Uh, 15 years. 15 years post. of posty yeah. down south of the island. Yeah, but then come, come to some homebrew kit. Yeah. I've got myself a, a passion for homebrewing, and uh, this is kind of where it's taking me. Yeah, to. so now he's got his own little mini brewery, fantastic. So, uh, Ian's going to take us around the little brewery and then we're going to go for a couple of slurps that he's, he's been after. Okay, cheers. Okay, so this is our brewery. It's a pretty small system. It's actually like a, a pilot brewery system from, for the bigger brewery. But we use it and it's, it's, good, it's good for us because we can be real flexible and make loads of different styles of beer. Um, but one of, the main, one of the main things that we do that, that other breweries don't is we use um, return bread in, in the mash. All right, that's good. Yeah. So this is what, what we have to do is a cr crumb any return bread we get from the shop, dry it out, and then we use that as a replacement. So it all comes back from the shops, all the bread, and you mash Just it up? Anything, right? anything they don't sell, because cause we're a sourdough bakery, everything has to be fresh, so anything they don't sell comes here gets ground up and we use it to make beer. Right. Which is a, a perfect, perfect thing to do with it. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a tiny pilot brew system that we got from America with a couple of free engineers from Embers. Uh, both of them are full, full of beer right now. Are they? So what have you got in the tanks there then? At the minute we've got uh, Fresh Prince of Lazare in that one and uh, New Zealand Pale Ale. And the Prince, Fresh Prince of Lazare is a great name for a beer, but what was it? Is it an IPA, is it? It's a, it's a New England Pale Ale. So oh, New England Pale Ale, right. Pale Ale. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, it's probably our best selling. Alright, so if you look down there, there's actual bakery. Yeah. Boys and girls are doing their bit down there. Over here, this is a shared space for us. So, one of the other things that I do a lot of is roasting the coffee for, for Noah and uh, all the places in our land. So, this is our coffee roast, we buy the green beans in. Roast all in house. So it's all done in there, all mashed and roasted in that. Roasted right. in there. Yeah. Fantastic. So, so it goes well with the uh, brewery, really, doesn't it? It's yeah. really good. A lot of similar sort of processes, temperatures, and times and stuff like that. So, so I really enjoy doing the roasting as well. So it's worked out quite well for us. Yeah. But again, we use some coffee in, in, in some of the beers we make as well. So it's still kind of like a circular process. And we right. We do a lot of stuff together. So in general, Ian, when you start a brew, yeah. how long does it take before it's coming through the taps? So on the brew day, we do we have to do two brews in, in the system to fill one of these tanks. Yeah. It's, um, that'll take, well, that's a single day before brew day, and then we've got it in there for it, and for, it, it's, it's three weeks really, when you add in like dry hopping, 
cold crash and car and, and we only do keg keg beer so we're not we don't haven't got any cask cask with beers at the moment but so yeah it's about three three weeks and then you'll have it there's a tap three weeks taps, yeah. that's fantastic well on that note we probably should go and sample a few <laughs> okay <laughs> right cheers in so here we are taste the test in the uh, noah bakery and brew house and uh, I've just seen one of the lads who's making bread down there. He's got brown hands, you know why that is? Because yeah. he needed a poo. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, <laughs> so, Ian, three different types of beers. Yep. Uh, this is your best seller at the moment, isn't yeah, it? Fresh Prince of Zaire, it's uh, this one's really... It's named after a town up north, a village up north called Lazare, but it's Fresh Prince of Lazare, and how strong is that? That's uh, 4.7, 4.7, really sort of fruity, topical. New England Pale Ale. Right. So it goes down a tree, especially in the summer. Yes. Right, I'll give it. Oh, you got ball, got it, haven't you? Yeah. Right. There we go, give it a slip. Really got a tropical nose on that. I thought it was going to be over grapefruit, and it's not. That's okay. That's yeah. when you when you smell them, it's really good. Yeah. 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 It I can say a little bit of peach in there. Yeah. Would that be right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Stone fruit, with, uh, stone fruit. I don't know what stone fruit tastes like, so I don't know. No, I've heard of stone fruit. How strong is that one here? No, it's 4.7. Oh, oh, very 4. fresh, that in here. Very fresh. fresh yeah. You started brewing that about two and a half, three weeks ago, did you? Uh, that one, yeah, it's not. Yeah, about three weeks ago. Oh, so. That's pretty nice actually. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was dreading that, I thought I'm going to have to criticise this, but no, that's, that's alright. Peachy, you've got stone fruits, yep. only a little bit of grapefruit. Slight bit of lemon in there. <coughs> yeah. yeah. What's going on? Put it. When you had it on the beer festival. Yeah, that's the one on the beer my, festival. My wife actually thought that was the best that she had on the day. So, now on the middle one we're going to a Pilsner, is it? This is the, yeah, the new Noah Pilsner. Um, it's 5.2. 5 uh, just sort of yeah, fresh pills and a little bit of a little bit of different hops in there than the yeah, usual. Yeah, right, so obviously it don't smell as strong. No, right, just no, a not, low, not dry hops, but just a little bit of lemon smell. Yeah, like that. so I'll give it a go first. Well, I've been to Spain recently. It has some dodgy lagers. That smells better. I'm not a lager drinker, but I'll give it a yeah. little bit of It should be hopefully be a bit, a bit more interesting than the usual lagers. Actually, it's really nice. It's alright, yeah. 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 yeah, it's uh, I can taste a bit of a nice malt background there. Yeah, it tastes more like a German lager to me. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's based on a German film. You'd be happy with that. Definitely. Yeah. That's okay, that. Look at that. Right. So the final one, a dark beer, and this yeah. is? This is uh, the coffee milk stout that we make. Coffee milk stout. So it's, uh, it's a milk stout, like standard milk stout, but we use um, use some of the no blend coffee and add it, add it to it to give it a real sort of coffee flavor. Right, okay. Well, you know what, like with coffee. <laughs> Smell a bit of coffee. How strong is this? Uh, that one's 3.9, so it's... 3.9%? Yeah, oh, so it's more right. easy, yeah. you know. It's more sessionable than some stouts, isn't it? You know, some more uh, getting ridiculous. Oh yeah, there's imperial stouts. There's a little bit of coffee there, but I'm quite happy. Like, it's not overpowering now. I didn't start to in the face. No, no, it's it should still be quite creamy. Mm. And it's got a lovely Belgian feel about it. Yeah, chocolate malts, a little bit of coffee. Nice I think. Like that. Yeah, you like that. Lovely colour. Yeah. Fantastic. Here we go. Here we go. I'm surprised. <laughs> we, came here thinking, we came here thinking, oh god, we're a traditional beer drinkers, me and Pete, and yeah. thought, oh, we oh, we like some of these because otherwise it's going to be a disaster. This, but it's turned out really well. So that's fresh, uh, zesty. Uh, I can see why my wife like that. Lemonies. That's a Chris Lager, more based yeah. on the German type lager, yeah, rather than absolutely. nothing like macro English lagers. Yeah. And that one's a decent stout. Yeah. I can yeah. get a little coffee tea. I, really like I prefer that, that one. Out of the three. I, I, think think I like a dark beer. Yeah. Yeah. You've done yeah. a great job with that. Well, well done, Ian. Well yeah. done. Yeah. All from doing a little home brew at home. Oh, it. it. <laughs> 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 well, it's been that successful. The brewery is actually taking some of you on next week. It starts on Monday. And it's a, yeah, it's a following one, mate. Put me in charge of the hops. 
I couldn't resist that one. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly fell for that one. Uh, so, this is the Noel Bakery and Brew House. Uh, open seven days, six days a week, and sit there only. Uh, this is the Cathy Bar. About uh, eight taps on, yeah. eight taps, yeah. like that. And uh, brewery, bakery, really good. And they're definitely worth popping in. Opposite the uh, sea terminal where the Almar Ferry is. And definitely coming, so no bakery and brew house. This is here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thumbs up from me to be honest. Yeah, very good. We'll come yeah. again. Oh yeah, I'll be bringing the wife down. Yeah. Okay, cheers. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye now. So, that's Noah Bakehouse and Brewery. Excellent place. So, uh, the quality of ingredients used in the bread and patisserie is excellent and it shows in the flavour. Uh, the coffees themselves are from all over the world and the, the millet there blend it and roast it and uh, yeah although I'm a tea drinker I appreciate what they're doing and as regards the brewery they use total quality ingredients and it only goes well to having really good beers doesn't it so well done them uh, thanks you for flat pint Pete for joining us in the taste test I don't think it was too much of a hardship for him and uh, thank you once again to Ian the brewer he's a former fisherman ex posty and now He's got his own microbrewery and he loves it and you can tell by the passion in his voice and he's he loves it he loves it so well done ian and uh, well done noah bakehouse now my channel is about supporting pubs breweries cafes small businesses and the heart the community of these places so that's what we've got to fight for and uh, yeah so uh if you're not subscribed give it a whirl but you don't have to but anyway that's it for now from douglas Arleman. thank you very much cheers <laughs>